Hey everyone, I am making a e-commerce post for um, a coffee mug. And so I just thought I'd plug you guys in so that you can follow along and see how I created a e-commerce product with Canva. So there are a plenty different flat lays that you can use. And so you can go through here and look up flat lay or white coffee mug. And as you can see, there's several different mugs that you can mock up. And so if, this is for like, if you don't want to make your own products, take pictures, do all that. I do mock ups because I don't want to hold inventory and I kind of uh, make uh, products to order. The only thing is sometimes you can't find the coffee mug that you're actually going to use. So the one that I have is just your very basic average coffee mug. And so you can click on one of these pictures. And then if you know what design you're going to use, like I had this, this little saying here, so I'm going to ungroup that. C for copy and then paste it here. And then it looks pretty much like a real cup, but you're not holding inventory, like I said, and you don't need to make the product, go through the hassle of taking all the pictures and then hoping it sells. So then I just group. Um, so this one actually, I remove the background and if you don't know how to remove a background I actually have a video of that if you just look through I can post a link as well so I uploaded this coffee mug remove the background if you don't have Canva Pro because that's what I use then you can always go to remove background to search it and it's actually this this one here whoops remove background image and you can upload it and remove it there um, but if sometimes you can't get the full background erased or you don't like the way it removed it, you can use a different tool, which, like I said, I have a video for that. And so if you don't have the free version, uh, I'm sorry, if you don't have the pro version of Canva, you can always do the remove background option. So um, I uploaded that here, removed the background, and then oops, I also created a shadow behind it. I don't know if you've noticed um, the effect. When you upload something like this, you want to make sure that it looks realistic. And so the way that I did that was I duplicated the mug and then I went to, uh, to adjust and then you take the brightness down however you want it. I kind of wanted mine like a little bit of a, a dark shadow and then the contrast, you can adjust it that way. Um, and then the blur is important. And then I position it backward. And then here I just lighten it, darken it, however you want to do it to make it look like that back shadow. Oops. Okay, so before I get too far off, um, I uploaded my own background, which is the, a photo from Canva. And then I, I like sometimes I put background I'll change the color like to, to a dark color and then I put the picture over top and you can lighten it or create that kind of so whichever one you decide to do if you don't like the flat lays in Canva you can always kind of work around it so that's it download it upload it to your uh, sales page and um, hopefully get some sales that way. Thanks for watching.